Hey guys, Common Sense Outdoorsman here. Sorry for the lapse in videos. I'm here in Arkansas this summer. <laughs> the long forecast for the rest of, uh, well, through August is, um, you know, high 90s, 100. Uh, feels like 115, 120. High humidity. I cannot stand hot, humid weather in the summer. It keeps me indoors. I know it. I know it. I just... It's just the way it is for me. I, I cannot stand humidity. And um, so, um, within a couple of months, I'll be back out. I'm going to spend a lot of time in a, in a few areas, do some camping, get a lot of videos going uh, again. I'll try to uh, get a few out here throughout the summer. But, um, <clears throat> and then uh, next summer, I'm going to try to, uh, spend the summer up north somewhere. Not exactly sure what yet, but could be back to Colorado, could be anywhere, somewhere where maybe I can uh, get a summer gig somewhere. But anyhow, I wanted to show you this uh, Buck Brahma knife. Okay, I did a short video on this, and this has not been available for quite a few years now. If you do have one of these, I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit. If you did manage to get one of these years ago, or you have one, or you found one, um, lucky you. I think these are fantastic knives. It's it's like the 119, but on steroids. Same uh, knife steel, 420 high carbon, the Buck Famous 420 high carbon, which I like very much. But the uh, differences are, throw that sheath down, obviously it has a leather stacked handle like a k-bar those are i believe micarta spacers those black spacers that they have there the uh guard and pommel are stainless steel the guard does have a hole up and down if you want to lash it to something um, there's a hole in the pommel area this is screwed on to the tang okay <clears throat> that has a hole through it so you could put a lanyard there if you wanted to and uh, that unscrews and it has a little pin here that holds this straight into the leather right now it's tight a lot of people have complained about this and it does happen to mine when the weather gets colder this will loosen up a little bit and this uh, pommel will move just a little bit doesn't bother me at all i did stick uh uh like a, a Allen wrench through that hole and tried to get this off to tighten it up, but I think they red Loctited it on there, so I didn't try too hard, but it doesn't bother me. I'm just going to leave it, but it is a, a stainless steel pommel and a stainless steel guard, so a little bit, little bit different look and, and feel and a little bit different energy to this knife than the uh, original 119. Um, and so this one, I think you can just, you can, get a get a little a little harder on this one you know because it doesn't have the aluminum but always keep in mind that the way they cut this this uh knife blank back when it goes into the tang is it's a 90 degree cut there so that you know you can baton with it it's strong enough you can do some things with it you just don't want to overdo it because it can snap there in that area okay that that that's going to happen but the blade shape and size the exact same as the uh, 420 high carbon. And the sheath, a lot of people complained about the sheath also. It's got a nylon uh, back to it, Molly compatible. They give you this little uh, um, 550 cord there uh, if you want to wrap it around your leg. And it does have the Velcro there. So you can get it on your belt without taking your belt off. It does have a, another lashing cord up here uh, to lash the hilt down. And it does have a strap here. And the knife, you know, goes in real easy. And you can strap it up. And this is a little plastic uh, leather covered uh, piece of plastic cover there. It is open at the bottom for ventilation drainage. Your knife will dry. And I think it works really well. I don't have a problem with this sheath. A lot of people had said or thought it was cheap. But, I mean, it's just a nylon sheath with a plastic scabbard there. And 
I don't know, it works for me. I'm not too picky on sheaths. I think you can modify it in a lot of different ways. Um, <clears> the <throat> same thing with this 420 high carbon steel. It uh, just cuts wonderfully. I really like Buck's um, 420 high carbon. I mean, the best 420 high carbon I've ever used. Um, they really have that heat treat with that boss heat treat system. They really have that down. But uh, I, I will say, typically bucks come with the great edge. This one, I had to clean up a little. I'm still working on it. I want to get it a little bit thinner. But for some reason, this one, it, it just didn't come with the, the usual really sharp, you know, 20 degree or eight, whatever they do the angle to. This one was fatter and just needed some work. And uh, just about have it touched up, but just got a little bit more work to go with it. I don't have a mad scientist sharpening system in the basement. All I do is um, I just use different diamond plates, cheap diamond plates. And I've just, um, you know, and I have the, the coarser grit ones. And I just work my knife and uh, learn to do it by hand, just like this. Yes, you can do it this way it's uh once you get it and you keep doing it and practicing it's like riding a bike and you can do it in your sleep with your eyes closed but uh, i think that's a good method for everybody to learn because if you're out somewhere and you know you're not in your 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 basement with all your equipment you may need to sharpen your knife by hand but that's just one way to do it so i got a little bit more work to do on this knife Yeah, so uh, I got the edge a lot better. Here's a nice piece of cedar. I love cedar. The place I'm going to go back to this winter and do some camping and some videos has wonderful cedar stands. I love a cedar wood uh, fire. This piece I brought back from that, and I still haven't cleaned it off, but uh, I'll get there. I love, love a cedar wood fire so i'm not going to do too much with this knife right now i'm not going to be batoning it through stuff you can like i said i have baton this knife you can baton it uh it, it's fine to do that um you just got to be a little careful okay because of the 90 degree cut tang that goes into the handle so the buck 119 brahma if you can find one of these and you like the 119 and you want this kind of a, a look and something a little bit that can Maybe uh, with the stainless steel on the back, you know, you can, you got a striking pommel without boogering up that aluminum on the uh, original 119. So yeah, I think it's a good choice. If, I'm trying to remember what I, when this, this I got this like maybe a, a year after first came out and I only, gee, what did I pay for this? Probably, I think it was in the 50s. If you see this now somewhere, you're probably going to pay um, you know, close to a hundred or over a hundred for it, but I think it's worth it. So, yep, the Brahma 119, Buck 119 Brahma, fantastic knife. If you find one, if you like it, definitely recommend it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Common Sense Outdoorsman, we'll see you on the next one.